Okay. <laughs> Part number two. You can mix all the possibilities like like you want. Uh, you can uh, use like Joe Boy, en avión, a la playa, de viaje. So you can use tres, option tres, uno, dos, and you can, you can mix, mix, mix. Oh. You have these formulas and you can use it like you want. Remember, here is to go. Um, and well, that's it. Let me see if I have a little more. No, that's it. Well, let me see a little bit the present, the, the past tense. Okay, I hope you you to watch these videos. Okay. We are good with this. Let's talk about a little bit. Past tense. Fred had it. I don't like that that name. I I I like to use just past tense. Okay, for past tense, we're gonna talk about past tense only with regular verbs. Regular verbs, not regular like ir. Mm -hmm. Re regular verbs, verbos regulares. Tiempo pasado. Verbos regulares. No. Está <laughs> regular. Regulares. Ok. Bueno. Uh, we are, you know, we have the endings. Ash, ish, ish. Right? In the infinitive form. Mm -hmm. Infinitive form is the base of the, uh, the basic form of the verb. Basic form of the verb, okay? These three endings is infinitive form. It's infinitive form, okay? So now, um, for this, you have to take the steam of the verb. You have to take the steam of the verb and drop the ending and add the new uh, conjugation form. Okay? So, for example, we're gonna work with only this today for the past tense. ER. Okay. So we have the basic form of the verb. Oh, verb. <laughs> okay. The basic form of the verb. Infinity. Right? Muy bien. Uh, we're going to work with estudiar. study, cantar, to sing, uh, estudiar, cantar, bailar, to dance, 
See, the infinitive form of the verb, the, uh, the basic form of the verb, infinitive endings. So this is the ending, right? This is the ending. This is the ending. This is what makes 